Hello, I'm Dr. Jean Cirillo. I'm a practicing psychologist in New York. And in this video, we're going to learn about how gender and personality differences affect decision making. In the 21st century, it seems like a little bit strange that we're considering this topic. But it's still been shown that people with a lot of female characteristics, whether they're women or men, and people with a lot of male characteristics, behave differently when it comes to making decisions. Now, in a lot of cases, women focus on consensus and team building, whether they're a supervisor, an equal, or even in a family, you're social situation, while men tend to focus more on solutions and on giving commands, a more hierarchical nature is what they recognize best. Here we're talking about the male way of supervising, recognizing authority. Often, if you notice, the boys will wait to see who seems to have the power when there's a sport or a social situation involving a group of men. Men relate to one another by showing dominance, by friendly or sometimes extreme competition. And this is the way they feel the most comfortable. As far as sitting positions, if, some, if two men are buddies, you'll notice they're often sitting next to one another. Whereas women in a sitting situation will tend to sit across from the other person because this way they can make eye contact. Men often perceive that as confrontational, whereas when they're next to somebody, that's more of a, of a cooperative kind of venture. So in situations requiring quick authoritative decision, often the man or the person with male traits is best for the job. However, when the situation is such that it requires team building, consensus, agreement, conversational intimacy, often the woman is the best person for the job. Or, again, the person with the most female type traits, those being conversational intimacy, focus on teamwork, and a focus on not showing superiority even if one is in a superior position as compared with the male way of supervising where superiority is shown and recognized towards one's own superiors where the men who are often confronted with a situation where the woman wants to ventilate and get him to listen he's anxious to fix it come up with a solution get right to the point, get right down to business, don't have any excessive conversation. This is important to notice if you're a woman doing business with a man. Sometimes if he's dealing with the subject, you can't often get into small talk. That from your point of view might be the polite way of doing business. Men tend to often gloss over some of those uh, formalities or informal formalities. And it's important to recognize that there are not always stereotypes, but there are many differences among individuals. These are gender and personality differences to keep in mind as general rules when dealing with decision making. I'm Dr. Jean Cirillo, and I'm a practicing psychologist in New York.